My name is Brian Bean with Santa Fe Cattle Company. Uh, we're located in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, about 30 miles east of Nashville. The Santa Fe is a really neat concept. Uh, we try to provide a very casual, very laid back kind of atmosphere, but still be able to get a fine dining sort of experience as far as with our service, our food. Uh, people come in in their blue jeans, t-shirts, and be able to kick back. We have the peanuts on the tables and they can just throw the shells in the floor. Uh, just a great time. It's a great place to come and eat and sit back and hang out. The, the big fan is really, it's, it's a very neat uh, centerpiece. Yeah, you can see it from any place you are in the restaurant. This is a big, huge, open area. We don't have drop ceilings or you know, there's nothing real fancy about the inside of our building. Everything around us, the, the, the tables are kind of a rustic look. The, the tin roofs that we have in here give us that rustic look. And then you have that big fan sitting in the middle, and it does set us apart. There's nobody else in town that has one. It really provides a, provides a great piece for people to look at. Great conversation starter. Unexpected benefits from it. Um, that's one of the biggest things is how much kids love it. Yeah, you know, that's one of the main attractions when they come back in here. It doesn't matter whether they've been in here the first time or whether they've come in for the tenth time. Kids are the ones that they pretty much dominate where parents are going to go out to eat. So if kids are like, I want to go to the fan place, yeah, there, here they come. So just the, con the continued sales from it. I have no reservations about it at all. As I said, I think it, it makes a great centerpiece. It's a great focal point, um, and it's something very unique. It's very unique. No one has said a word about it. And I think, you know, probably a lot of it because there is the donkey right beside it. Uh, so it kind of it kind of takes away from the fact of what we're really saying, but then kind of adds to the fact, yeah, this is what we're really saying. It's funny to listen to them. You know, of course, the kids can't say it. The parents are thinking it, but it's, it's funny. We've not had one person that said one negative thing as far as it's saying, big-ass fan. But I came from Music Valley, and we just have just the... Uh, the regular little fans, yeah, and I'd heard the whole time I'd been out there, I had heard about the big ass fan, but had, you know, had no idea what they were talking about. So the first time I came in here, and I was like, "All right, what is a big ass fan?" And I'm like, "Whoa, that is a big ass." So it was just, it was neat. I think that one of the biggest things this one is just more consistent. It, it, it has just a, a natural flow to it. And in fact, one day last week, the opening manager didn't kick the fan on. When that sun came beaming down on the on the ceiling, or on the uh, on the roof, coming through that tin, it got hot in here. I went back and kicked the fan on it, roof uh, circulated that air just real quick, made it just, it dropped the dropped the temperature, made it comfortable in here again. Um, those other those little ones, you see those everywhere. Yeah, you know, they're in everybody's house. Uh, they're in everybody's restaurants. You don't see this everywhere.